Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Maddie, and today we are talking about the best drones for beginners because there's a lot of people out there, especially right now, trying to figure out what to get, how to get started, what the best way is to get into FPV or just drones in general. And I figured I'd put together a little video just to show you guys what I think is a good investment against a bad investment. So I'm over here, I'm on Amazon and I just put in drone beginner just to show you guys what the options are for like a general search. And a lot of these drones here, they are, you know, 50 bucks, $30, whatever. And they are kind of like the base, base, base model for a beginner drone. Now, personally speaking, I'm very much into FPV, which is first person view drones, where you're wearing a goggle on your face and it's like this immersive experience. And for me, that is the fun of drones. So that pretty much eliminates almost every drone that's on this page. And part of that uh, interest, like my interest actually for FPV started back when I started out on a drone very similar to this one in green. I think I had an Isheen 010 or something like that. And, um, you know, this is a great drone for like a kid because it's super cheap. It's like 40 bucks and you've got a little controller and you've got your, uh, your drone and that's about it. And it's, it's cool for flying inside, but you're flying at line of sight. So you need to be used to, um, the orientation of the drone and, and understanding when it's moving forward, backwards and side to side and understanding where the front of the drone is so that you can actually orient yourself, which Honestly, it takes some practice to get down and for people that are uh, less inclined to like there's some people that are better at processing that information than others. And I think FPV kind of cuts right through that because there's a camera on the front of the drone and wherever the drone is facing is where you're looking. So you can't lose your orientation in that regard. And for me, that's a big plus because you spend less time trying to figure out where the drone is headed and more having fun when you're in and immersed in the action, which is, uh, again, the big draw to FPV for me. So I want to jump over. So, you know, we see these drones here. They've got all these different types and ones that connect to your phone and ones that come with little screens and stuff. That's all fun and good. But some of the drones that I'm actually uh, very interested in um, for a beginner is something like the Cetus, the Beta FPV Cetus line. They have these little kits that um, it comes with everything that you need. So you get the drone, you it comes with batteries, spare props and everything, it comes with a radio and a goggle. So it's everything all in one and it comes in this nice little kit. And I've flown these drones before they are a ton of fun and actually once I jumped from my first drone I ended up with a tiny whoop and um, which is very similar to what this is and I've also played around with this a lot and this is just a really fun way to get into the hobby especially if you're a beginner especially if you know nothing about FPV at all this is the thing to get because the barrier to entry is so low right everything comes with the kit. You don't have to buy anything extra. And it is, uh, you get these awesome motors with it and the, uh, the goggle, the analog goggle. And I believe this one even has an ELRS controller. Let's just jump over here quick. We'll do a little exploration together, but the seat is, so there's one with an ELRS controller. And what's cool about that is you can actually use it with other drones down the road. So if you're thinking about getting this for somebody, you can use this radio as long as you're buying a drone down the, down the line with an ELRS receiver, Express LRS, um, you can use the same radio. So it's a great entry way to get into the hobby because you, it comes with everything that you need, but you can also use the radio later and the goggle as well, because it's an analog goggle. So 
any analog drone that they might want to build or buy down the road, you can use these goggles with it. So theoretically, if you wanted to spend the 300 just to get into the hobby, you could. And then if you wanted to buy a drone down the road, you know, maybe it's another three or $400, but you can keep the same gear and grow with it. So I think that that's a really cool way to get into the hobby. And I wanted to share that with you. Um, there's another kit, which is the Emax. This is a newer kit that has hit the market. Right now they're sold out, probably because of the holidays. They're selling like hotcakes over here. Um, but they have a similar drone. It's called the Tiny Hawk 3. It's a very popular drone. And they've now bundled it. Same thing. It's a ready-to-fly bundle. Comes with a radio. Comes with the goggle. And everything that you need to get started. What I like about this kit is the goggle actually pops out. Like the screen itself comes out. And you can use it. Uh, you could attach it to your radio and fly that way if you want. You could wear the goggle. Or you could just hold the screen. So if like if this is for kids and you're trying to get them to play nice <laughs> nice together you could have them just like sitting next to one another and they could just share the screen while one of them flies the drone so they're both in the experience and they're both having a ton of fun and i'll tell you from my personal experience flying fpv like half the fun is flying with friends flying with other people watching the footage and recording the footage which both of these kits can do you can record the footage onto a micro sd card which is basically this and you can just watch it later share it with friends upload it whatever it is you could look at my channel i've got tons of fpv videos it's basically all i do and it's a lot a lot of fun um next thing that i wanted to share because a lot of people also wonder how to get into the hobby further so they're like interested in building a drone because a lot of the hobby is building it's building fixing fly, crash, repeat. And if you're interested in getting into that aspect of the of the hobby, um, a lot of people are asking like what parts to use and what to get, what's a good fit, will these parts fit together, will they be compatible and whatnot. And Joshua Bardwell, who's like a very, very well-known YouTuber, that's him right here, he's come up with a kit where it's everything that you need in a box to, to get started. So you can literally build your drone with him because he's got a build video for it and it comes with everything that you need. So let me just open up here. I'll show you the analog build and then I'll show you the other one. So this is the kit and it's a QAVS-2. This is the second edition of his build and he's got, you know, it comes with the motors, the frame, you name it, it comes with it. I think the only thing that you need to get is... You'll need a radio, which I can guide you on getting. You'll need a goggle, which again, I can guide you on getting. Or you could just use that. Um, and you'll need some batteries and chargers and stuff like that. But this is like a very easy way to get into the hobby. And for the cost, generally speaking, if you were to build like a high-end version of this, you'd probably be spending seven or 800 bucks. Just by the time you're you get a good frame, good mo, you know, like everything, it's it it adds up quickly. So this is like a great budget build to get into the hobby. And again, it comes with this. It has this build video, and he steps you through the process and holds your hand throughout the whole thing. And uh, I think that's really, really, really valuable, especially if you're looking to get started because you uh, you don't want to mess up, and it's. It, it, it can be easy to mess up if you don't know what you're doing, but you'll learn a ton just by doing this process and you'll know how to fix the drone, which is a big, big, big thing with these ready to fly kits that they have where they'll sell you the drone and uh, it's all built and ready to go. It sounds good, but when it comes down to it, when you need to actually fix something, which you absolutely will need to do, it's uh, it can be a little daunting. So I think this is a nice way to get into the hobby because again, it's just got everything that you need. Um, so there's that. And then he's got an HD ready version. That's for the analog build. And um, I'm talking about the video, uh, the video link right now. And the HD ready 
is it's essentially the, the exact same build. It just doesn't come with the video system. And you would just go ahead and get like an O3 air unit or you could do some research on like what other video system you wanna use. It's kind of up to you, the user, but there's a DJI O3 air unit, which pairs with the DJI Integra goggle. So as you can see from the pricing, it is expensive once you go into HD land. Um, but if you wanted to stay budget and you wanted to stick to something like under $500, you could do this. You could do a, uh, a very inexpensive radio. You could do like the pocket, which I think is like 70 bucks as we wait for it to load. Um, yeah, $55. That's not bad. And then you can even do, um, like an analog goggle. Let's just take a look here. FPV goggles. They have expensive ones. These are the ones that I use. Swear by them. I've had them for three plus years. They're excellent. Um, and then there's the, I'm looking for the Scout, I think it is. Yeah. Like you could do a cheaper goggle. There's even the, the EV800, I believe. And you could save some money that way. And uh, again, this is kind of what I started on. I started with a box goggle. I started with a whoop very similar to this. And then I grew into the hobby. And I was able to use the analog goggle with um, the better gear. And I kind of like used it as a ladder to climb up. And now I'm flying all kinds of fancy stuff. But you absolutely do not need to start there. You can actually save a lot of money by doing it this way. So anyway, I just wanted to make that video and share with you guys what's going on. And I will catch you on the next one very soon. I'll be back. Catch you soon.